Yeah. Look at my hair. <laughs> Terrible devastation. If any of you have like a dog and you like to pet the dog? <laughs> Someone needs to come through with a big blower. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. What? Good morning, everybody. It's Mike and Jill. It's another are... day in which to excel, Jilly. It is, Mike. That's the attitude, my friend. So it is the day after Hurricane Ian came through, and we are driving through to see some of the um, aftermath. And really what we're noticing, wow, there's a tree down there. There's tree, trees down and lots of leaves and winds in our area. Oh my gosh, look at that sign. Holy cow. All right, hold on. Let me show you. All right, that sign's down. There's a tree down over there. There's a tree, branches over here. Lots and lots of cleanup that's going to need to happen. Oh, wow. Look at that tree. Holy cow. There was a lot more damage over here than at our house. We really just had um, a couple roof tiles come off and some palm fronds, um, but no damage to speak of at our house. Palm fronds. Palm fronds. It's not easy to say that. But we are on our way to my parents' house. Look at all this all over the road. We're on our way to my parents' house to make sure everything's okay there. Then we're gonna go to my sister's house and make sure everything is okay there. It's like saying Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer is say. also difficult to say. <laughs> Holy cow. Palm fronds. Palm fronds. While drinking an Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Okay, so um, we are absolutely the lucky ones we realized that we are in an area that was um you know we're inland so the the folks that were inland did not get half as i mean even close to the amount of damage that happened over by the coast you know the coastal areas that's why they asked you to evacuate because they're so low lying and they're right on the water the huge storm surges terrible devastation down there i really hope people heeded the warnings and left um evacuated it's so difficult to evacuate your home i can't imagine the thought of just leaving everything um, wow, this is really, it's like a, the opposite of a blizzard. It smells good. It smells piney. It does smell good, I will say. But this is some crazy, crazy stuff. But uh, it seems as though there's not damage like to people's houses or, or to people uh, in this area. Now, I, I can't say the same for, um, for this, uh, folks in the south and east of us. Someone needs to come through with a big blower. I think that's probably a good idea. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. There's a big palm tree down too. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, and the tree. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Well, there is definitely damage. We can pass through though. That's good news. Hopefully we can pass to get to my parents' house and my sister's house. Anyway, we will keep you informed of what the day after looks like and what we're doing. We're putting our furniture back. Mike took down the hurricane shutters. You might have seen us on the news. I don't know. <laughs> um, but we are, uh, again, very thankful and very blessed that our situation was as such. And our prayers and thoughts go out to all the people in the South and East. Uh, just comment on the fickleness of, you know, 20 miles to the south, complete devastation with the storm surge, and then 20 miles north, it's just, uh, this is not too bad, so it's just, uh, you just never know, you have to be really thoughtful around what you do around these, these storms. Absolutely, and it's, it's almost like a tornado, like I always picture a tornado as being like very local and very um, uh, specific. specific, exactly, and it's almost like I mean, I know this hurricane was humongous and still is. It's huge. But as far as like the, the real devastation areas, it seems to have been very um, localized and specific. Storm surge, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're, we're, when, when the governor said to evacuate to higher land, higher ground, we are, we are that higher ground. So, and we didn't realize it at the time. It was our first time here. We did, I, I thought for sure we were gonna get, a, get flooded because we were told that we were in the path of most of the rain and, um, and that we would have some um, inland flooding, they called it. I thought that would be us, but so far we haven't. Now, who knows what's gonna happen over the next couple of days, but I think we're pretty safe, don't you, Mike? I do, I think we're in good shape. But now <coughs> our biggest problem is to figure out what we do with the sandbags. I know, after we get the sandbags now, I asked the guy when I got them, like, hey, because I wanted to know, like, should I tie them really tight so the sand doesn't come out, or should I tie them so I, like in a bow so I can untie them if we need to dump the sand? Anyway, he said he didn't know. He was just a volunteer, <laughs> and I just pulled a bunch of people together, so sandbags. Maybe we'll save them for the next time. No, um, no, we won't. Okay, you guys, we just left my mom and dad's house and put all of the furniture back in the lanai that we took out yesterday. They had like zero damage. They had some leaves down and they had um, a palm, 
a palm frond <laughs> fell, but um, right next to Arnold. <laughs> there, like the lanai cage, like the um, the screen that goes over the pool, everything totally fine. The pool looks great. Like they were also tucked in. I think. I think we we're in an area that was just probably far enough out, and um, I don't know. I don't know what else. Just, just, and I think that the eye just went. A different way and the way we were talking last night too Mike about like the way that the hurricane was spinning like this was this part down here was more um, more powerful than than this part up here you know it's spin, and when it came like we were always on the top it was doing this so uh, so we were out of harm's way for most of it but anyway there's lots of people out walking now assessing the damage and sort of just getting out I'm sure everybody was hunkered down in their house yesterday like we were so it is nice to get out and about and it's much cooler weather now too what does the temperature say it says 72 degrees 72 when we, when we started this what was it probably in the 90s 87, 87. Now it's 72. Whew. Hey. Hey, hey Ethan, right. how are you? I'm great, how are He's you? Good. good, Ethan's back. Ethan, you got a lot of nice comments on the vlog. Everybody yeah. says Ethan's a natural, man. So what's it called? This morning, or last night when we saw it on the news, my mom was like, I didn't know it was going to be on the news. Oh yeah, uh, yeah we didn't know that on. either. Is that okay? Yeah. We didn't oh, know yeah, that was going to be the fine. case. Oh my I mean, God. she was freaking out. She's like, I look terrible. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's beautiful. Yeah, I didn't know they were going to take clips from like, the vlog. I didn't know anything. they send us that interview? That's cool. Yes. Okay. At some point, yes. I got a lot. No, that was super cool though. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan, how'd you guys fare over there? We kept our power. We um, no, no like trees or anything fell. It was great. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, we were lucky, huh? Yeah. We were yeah. Lucky. Holy cow! So you guys are be waiting. Sun. The sun is finally out. What? Anything we can eat? And do we have anything we can eat? Yeah. We have a ton of food. Yeah, I know. What, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Wait. We've got eggs. We've got bagels. We have bacon. We have pulled pork, we have spaghetti, yeah. we have snacks, we have hummus. We have a lot better than the ham sandwiches I've been eating. Uh, I heard about your ham sandwiches. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. <laughs> okay, so because of all the flooding, we're gonna go skimboarding. I did this yesterday, but it was like really windy, obviously, because it was in the middle of a hurricane. But now oh, it's yeah, nice. Ethan, you should leave that here in case you fall. Yeah. Yeah, That's it's a good idea. Now it's nice, so right we're gonna, um, yeah, look at the blue sky behind you. Go it's actually a great day. It's I a really know. nice day. <laughs> Have fun. That was cool, too. That's All right. right. Bonus. Uh This is the extent of our damage here at our house. We did have a roof tile come off the roof and smash there. Gosh. And we also had, look at this, some a part of our um, garage, so our garage window came off. So that's interesting. And just some, like, really just a little bit of debris. There's not a ton of stuff that went wrong uh, around where we are, thank goodness. But like driving to my mom and dad's, of course you saw that. The day is beautiful. We have, we've opened the windows. We have breeze going through. It's a beautiful sunny day. It is um, about 76 degrees outside, which is spectacular. We have been spending most of the day putting everything back and relaxing a little bit. Yesterday was a little bit stressful, which I know sounds really weird because I know that we didn't have as much stress as a lot of other people who went through this storm and even the people who are going through it right now because it's in um, headed over towards Jacksonville as well. But it was a, you know, the whole day you're sort of just like waiting and waiting and checking and what's going to happen and anticipating and you don't want to go to sleep because you don't want to, like you're not sure if the storm is done and all that stuff. But anyway, so today we just um, relaxed a little bit and, and worked a little bit. We still have our sandbags there. I think Mike wants me to take care of those because he wasn't a fan of having them. He's like, we're not going to get that much water. I said, well, we have to have these just in case. So I think Ryan and I are going to move those. And of course we have 
our little stream that's down here that was created yesterday and then Mike and Ryan playing frisbee on the golf course. It looks like I might have drained. I don't know if he can, whoa, nice. I don't know if Ryan can skimboard anymore. I don't see any water on the course, but there's, of course, there's some um, debris. And we still are having breezes, you guys, still. And now it's like 6.30 at night um, on the next day and we are still having breezes even though the hurricane has left the state of Florida it's out in the ocean um, but of course the, the aftermath is still or the the rain and the wind is still getting Jacksonville that Jacksonville area but we are still getting breeze which is so crazy it just shows how big that storm was it is the next day it is now two days after the hurricane yesterday we went through and did some assessment told you about what went on and then last night Ryan had some friends sleep over mm -hmm. a rowdy bunch they were <laughs> no, it's not a rowdy bunch. Like we we just are go with the flow. Uh -huh. So we stayed up late, and this house is like that's okay. Whatever. It's, it was fun. I hope they enjoyed themselves. It was Ethan and Scott, Scott and Trevor. And Ethan and Trevor were here earlier in the day, and we're oogling over the bug. Oogling. They liked the bug, and I was like, it was weird because me and Brennan and Katie and Katie all. We don't love it because it's very feminine. I don't know. Katie likes it. She doesn't not like it. She'd rather get picked up. She than likes her. Else, yeah, she likes her Jeep. She likes her Jeep better. Anyway, uh, they think it's a girly car, like a mom car. It's a total girly mom car. Trevor and Ethan were like, "Oh my gosh, your bug's so sick." I was like, "What?" They're like, "Can we drive it?" And I was like, "No, what you doing?" And she goes, "Yeah." I was like, "What?" And then... So Trevor and Ethan took a spin in my car yesterday. And now all of a sudden Ryan's thinking, wow, Mom, you kind of have a cool no, car. Yeah, because your friends think it's going to go, wow. It didn't totally, my perception didn't totally change, but it's like, I'm more mature now and I'm not that like awkward phase where like, you know, I have to be car. cool, you know? Yeah. So it's, you know, less of that. But yeah, sure. And the good news is since the hurricane has gone away, the weather it's left behind is spectacularly beautiful. It is perfect convertible weather. Another good thing about it is that haircuts are finally open. Haircut are, places are finally are open again. again. Look at my hair. <laughs> so Ryan good. is going right now, no or we are going right now. We have a two o'clock appointment, so let's skedaddle to get Ryan's haircut finally. When's the last time you got your haircut? Do you remember? It was before we left the Florida. Okay, that would have been before July. Okay, yeah. all right, it's been a few months. It was, yeah, it was, June. it was June. June, oh, right, probably around the time of the graduation parties and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. There she blows, the coolest car in the world, Ryan. Coolest car in the world. Mm -hmm. If any of you, I know this is gonna sound weird, but That's if any of you have like a dog and you like to pet <laughs> the dog, the dog has like curly, like not curly, not like um, poodly hair, but like a little bit not as curly. It, right. That's what it's like. Anyway, um, it's so fun. So I think I'm gonna say same style, just less. Right. Just, just like I have a lot of hair. Like, <laughs> Take this, make it this. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I have a lot of hair. Take it off. Take it off. I want to say, I want, I want to be able to say how many like inches I need off, but I don't, I don't know. Is an inch in like. Well, let, we'll look at it when I get there and see about an inch. Maybe an inch. Okay. Okay. All right, say goodbye to your locks. All those beautiful locks. I'm prepared to walk in three pounds lighter than I was. <laughs> walk out. Walk so out. Like, right. Yeah. We're debating whether or not we should even mention the word trim. Because if I just get it trimmed, I think I'll be happy with how it looks, but dad will freak out. So, I don't know. 
Well, don't do what you want. I mean, you have to respect your father, right? Certainly, but also you should get what you want. But I, I, I think you'd be happy with it a little more than a train, to be honest. With you. Okay. Let's measure. Let's measure. I think that if you do, maybe by half. Like if you did an inch and a half, it's probably three inches right now. So if you did an inch and a half, it'd be kind of good. I don't think half. I think half of it is a lot. Well, too much. I think an inch would be good. What? I think they're gonna charge you extra. Do you think so? Yeah. You have so much hair. They'll be like, listen, we charge by the inch. <laughs> or we charge by how much you have. Mm -hmm. The strand. Yeah. lighter my head looks smaller I um, no all things considered I'm happy yeah a lot of things could go wrong <laughs> they didn't. Um, but it needed to be done yeah it needed to be done I'm glad we got it done it's getting used to it and, yeah. and uh, but no this like once it grows out a little bit more I'll be back to like um, I'll be back to I'll be back to like uh, what do you call like iconic Ryan hair right I'll be back to, yeah. Can I touch Normal, it? Normal, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So it's, yeah, it's still got water in it. I should have so. taken a picture of all the hair that was on the floor. Did you, was there a lot of hair on the oh, floor? Oh, it's a lot, yeah. It was a, <laughs> a little forest you got going there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, right guy. Thank you. All right, you guys, we came to the grocery store and look at what's going on. Look, there's nothing over there in the produce section. That's normally where the lettuce and salad is, is are. Bananas are usually right here. Oh, they're gone. Apples, all these produ produce. We're not getting any food in from, uh, looks like new trucks. Holy cow. There is plenty of other stuff. It's not like we can't, say, juices and things. Not like you can't make food by any means. And there's people in much worse situations, but it's really like, this is insane. This is not, this is not normal. Holy cow. I am getting ready to call it a night. Holy cow, what a day. Actually, what a what a past two days. I'm gonna feed the kitties and then go to bed. <laughs> Ryan went to uh, his friend's house. I think they're having a bonfire tonight and um, they're gonna sleep over, at, I think to Ethan's house. Anyway, um, what made me happy today was getting out and about, pat, the past two days actually, getting out and about and seeing what the aftermath of the hurricane was in our area, um, around our neighborhood and through our town. And fortunately, there wasn't much destruction at all. It was mostly down um, signs, down trees, um, you know, fences down, that kind of thing, but it did not look like it at all that there was much damage to houses. Um, I think there's a lot of power outages, but that's about it. So. Um, getting out and seeing that definitely made me have a sense of like, okay, the 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 destruction was definitely localized. Um, not that that minimizes any of what happened there, but you know, you, if it was there and here and a bunch of other places, that'd be even worse. So, um, so just getting around and seeing that uh, most people are getting their businesses are back open and they're um, getting out and around and and their their structures their their houses were safe makes me happy <laughs> not a lot of flooding either I know one of the parks um, was flooded like the it's like you know park where you play basketball and swing and stuff was flooded but that has since receded so also for um, what made me happy was um, seeing Ryan Boom with his friends it's always a good thing friends are always a good thing so thank you guys so much for watching comment down below what made you guys happy today and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye okay what's happening we got EV, we got Evan, we got Trevor. Happy October. Myself. Happy October from It's the Donnelly's. Happy October. Uh, all of us are sleeping over at History Month. All of us are sleeping over at Ethan's house. We're watching Insidious, which is like this horror movie, because it is October, and we're going to uh, Hallow Scream tomorrow night at Bush Gardens, which is gonna be fun. Um, we're we're all vibing. We had a great day. We're all vibing. Ethan, there's one thing I'm wondering. <laughs> what made you happy today? 
dude, I'm not even gonna lie, seeing all my best friends. Oh my and um, God. getting to spend the day with all my <laughs> homies made me very happy. Good stuff. And um, restaurants finally opened back up, so I had a slice of pizza today. And okay. That was good. How did that taste? It tasted like heaven. <laughs> That's what's up, dog. Yo, Evan. Ethan, Evan, what made you happy today? Um, I'm grateful that me and all my friends here <laughs> survived Hurricane Ian. And um, I'm also very happy that we got to like make a campfire yeah oh god trevor sure i what made you happy today my guy i had a subway sub <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> guys what made me happy today was just hanging out with all my friends uh i got to see uh, a lot of the, the young life group got to see a lot of my boys um and i got a lot of stuff done today i got some laundry done helped my dad uh in the garage and it was overall a great day Guys, I'm so excited for tomorrow. We're gonna to be going to Hallow Screen, which is this like, basically they make all of Bush Gardens like this like spooky thing, and they have haunted houses and stuff. And we're gonna be going to but that. The and the scariest be... thing is me. Shut up, <laughs> shut up. And we're gonna be going. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna vlog it for you guys. <laughs> Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. You're Peace don't out, tell you guys. To vlog. For the latest in live happy and it's the Donnellys merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnellys.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.